the Tesla electric semi-truck concept was unveiled in November 2017, with a commercial launch expected in 2022. And if you missed the event on December 1st, Tesla delivered the first electric Tesla semis to Pepsi, despite skepticism about the feasibility of such a move. What's even more remarkable about this electric semi is its efficiency. According to experts, compared to a fully loaded Ford F-150, the Tesla Semi has better fuel economy. And today, let's dive into the efficiency of the Tesla Semi and why it's better than diesel or gasoline-powered ones. When comparing a Class 8 Semi truck to a half-ton pickup truck like a Ford F-150, it's easy to see that the F-150, whether gas or diesel-powered, is a more fuel-efficient choice. However, when the math was done, experts were shocked to find that the Tesla Semi was actually more efficient. At their December 1st delivery event, Tesla displayed a chart that showed how many batteries would be required to travel 500 miles from Fremont to San Diego under realistic driving conditions. The chart shows that the Tesla Semi's charge dropped from 97% to 4% throughout the trip. And that means the Tesla Semi could have driven 500 miles on only 93% of its battery capacity, as has been pointed out. Again, this is with a fully loaded truck and trailer that weigh nearly 80,000 pounds. Peter Robinson, CEO of Lucid, has previously discussed this issue. Smart range, however, is distinct from dumb range. He said that throwing a bunch of batteries into a car is a cheap and easy way to increase its range, but the Tesla Semi is incredibly productive. It does have a sizable battery pack, but in light of its capabilities, it uses its power very effectively. Examples of this can be seen on Tesla's website, which claims that the Semi's energy consumption is under 2 kilowatt hours per mile and that's at the maximum allowable gross combination weight of 82,000 pounds. As an example, 1.99 kilowatt hours per mile is well within the range of what is meant by less than 2 kilowatt hours per mile. However, Elon Musk recently tweeted on December 2nd that the current efficiency is significantly lower than 2, and he described the Tesla Semi and its 1.7 kilowatt hours of energy usage per mile. However, he does state that 1.5 kilowatt hours per mile is achievable and that 1.6 is undoubtedly possible. In other words, we have a pretty impressive number right now, and it has room to grow. In addition, some conversion may be necessary to arrive at a more appropriate number for a fair comparison. That's why the EPA came up with the MPGE, a mile per gallon equivalent. FuelEconomy.gov has all the information you need to learn how effective an electric vehicle really is, and a mileage per gallon equivalent is the most prominent efficiency figure displayed. For the purpose of converting an electric vehicle's efficiency rating into a gasoline equivalent, one gallon of gas is roughly equivalent to 33.7 kilowatt hours of electricity. Consequently, the range of a vehicle powered by 33.7 kilowatt hours of electricity is equivalent to one gallon of gasoline. For instance, if a vehicle can travel 60 miles while consuming only 33.7 kilowatt hours of electricity, then that vehicle has an MPGE of 60, which is also known as a mile per gallon equivalent. And so, from Elon Musk's tweet, we can conclude that the Tesla Semi's energy consumption is 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile. Based on this, we can deduce that the Tesla Semi can travel roughly 19.82 miles on 33.7 kilowatt hours of electricity. This also means the Tesla Semi can achieve a fuel economy of roughly 20 miles per gallon if you round up a bit. And there is a way to increase this efficiency. As Elon Musk has pointed out, he even predicted that in the not-too-distant future, the mile-per-gallon equivalent could rise to 22 if efficiency dropped 1.6 kilowatt-hours per mile. When compared to other half-ton pickup trucks on the market, the Tesla Semi's efficiency of 20 miles per gallon is clearly superior. But remember, that's with a full load in the Tesla Semi 
and its equivalent of 20 miles per gallon. And the total weight of the truck, the trailer, and the cargo being transported must not exceed 82,000 pounds or the gross combination weight. The half-ton pickup trucks in question here achieve EPA-estimated fuel economy ratings of 19 and 17 miles per gallon respectively when carrying neither a heavy trailer nor a fully payload. And now, the next step is determining how much a pickup truck's internal combustion engine reduces its efficiency in terms of miles per gallon when pulling cargo. According to the available data, the average fuel economy for a Ford F-150 pulling a 9,000-pound trailer is 8.4 miles per gallon. According to the EPA, the fuel economy of a 2019 Ford F-150 with a V8 engine is around 18 mpg. That means the F-150's V8 engine lost about 53.3% of its efficiency while towing 9,000 pounds. As a result, if you extrapolate the average of 53.3% to the rest of these trucks, you will get a figure that is not entirely accurate. It's only an approximation because the range loss and towing capacities of a Ford F-150 are likely to be slightly different from those of a Ram, Chevrolet, or Toyota Tundra. And with a gross weight of 82,000 pounds, a fully loaded Tesla Semi is more than twice as efficient as a Ford F-150, Toyota Tundra, or Chevrolet Silverado when towing the same amount. That's an amazing bit of engineering. Now, we're moving beyond comparisons to half-ton pickups because, in reality, it's absurd to think that a half-ton truck can tow as much as a Class 8 vehicle. You see, the efficiency of a Tesla Semi is clearly much higher than that of a standard diesel Semi. An article on an aerotruck.com claims that the mileage of the typical diesel Semi is about 6.5 miles per gallon. The Freightliner Cascadia Evolution is currently one of the most fuel-efficient diesel semis on the road. And according to southporttruck.com, at a gross weight of 76,000 pounds, that semi got around 9.31 miles per gallon on the highway. Therefore, the Tesla semi is over twice as efficient as the most fuel-efficient diesel semi. We also know that the Tesla semi's battery pack does not currently have 4680 batteries. Like the original prototype, it most likely runs on 2170 batteries. Moreover, given that the current efficiency is roughly 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, we can infer that the battery size is at least 850 kilowatt hours. It's more likely closer to 900 kilowatt hours, depending on the exact characteristics and the amount of redundancy Tesla has built in. However, in the 500-mile trip example that Tesla provided, the car only used 93% of the battery pack while traveling on a freeway. And by the same logic, if you charge the Tesla Semi all the way to zero, you should be able to drive more than 530 miles without recharging. Assuming an 850kWh usable capacity for the Tesla Semi battery pack, and increasing the efficiency to 1.6 kilowatt hours per mile or 1.5 kilowatt hours per mile you can see that the future tesla semi with the same size battery pack may be able to travel more than 560 miles on a single charge now before we continue i'd like to thank you for getting this far and if you want to know three more things about the tesla semi then make sure to watch till the end now, we're going to talk about three main categories. To begin, the Tesla Semi's drag coefficient is nearly half that of a standard diesel Semi, making it significantly more aerodynamic. An article claims that the Tesla Semi has a drag coefficient of only 0.3, but the drag coefficient of a conventional diesel Semi truck is around 0.65 to 0.70. In addition to its low drag coefficient, the Tesla Semi's tri-motor drive system is incredibly well-engineered and efficient. And to top it all off, the Tesla Semi has installed a high-tech heat pump. This facilitates both heating and cooling the cabin, as well as the battery pack. Naturally, a thermal management system that includes a heat pump is more efficient and uses less electricity. 
Now, even though the Tesla Semi was initially met with skepticism, the company has exceeded where others had failed, and Pepsi Frito-Lay is now in charge of it. I also want to stress one more that the Tesla Semi isn't just fuel efficient, it's also quite powerful. According to what was said at the delivery event, only one of the Tesla Semi's three motors is used while traveling on the highway. It was also mentioned that this motor is portable due to its small size. Still, it packs more of a punch than a diesel motor. The tri-motor powertrain allows for greater acceleration and steep inclines than is possible with a conventional diesel semi. And just like the other electric vehicles, the Tesla Semi is equipped with regenerative braking, which allows the car to recover energy as it coasts downhill. Considering its efficiency, the Tesla Semi is an excellent choice for everyday use. Incredibly, you can drive for up to 500 miles on a single charge. However, the Tesla Semi also has a rapid charging time. Tesla claims on their website that its new V4 superchargers, which are capable of delivering 1 megawatt or more of DC charging power, will allow you to charge up to 70% of your battery in 30 minutes. Finally, the Tesla Semi is an impressive engineering achievement that is an excellent advertisement for the company's R&D department. So, what do you think of the Tesla Semi? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And while you're at it, make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons as well. Now, if you want to know about the Tesla Semi, then make sure to click and watch this video right here. And enjoy! And that's the end of this video guys. See you next time!